Kristen Schwarzenberger from Celine Middle School joins us as this week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education Award winner. Congratulations. Thank you. We received a, a video describing what a wonderful teacher you are. And so I'd like to show it to you. It's right behind mm -hmm. me right now. Uh, congratulations, Mrs. S. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very honored to have the opportunity to get to nominate you for, for this award. And, and, you know, those opportunities don't come around very often when you feel like you have a chance to, to do something for somebody that really deserves it. And, you know, there's nobody more deserving than you. Um, you know, you've been an unbelievable mentor to me, to, to so many other people at Pleasant Ridge Elementary School. And, you know, even though you're at the middle school now, you know, it, uh, there's still memories of you here. And I know there are so many people who, you know, have been touched by what you've done for us in education and what you've done, what you've done for kids. And, uh, you know, and here we are back in your old stomping grounds. And, um, you know, I know that, that me personally, you know, I'm so thankful for the opportunity that I got to know you and, and you know, being part of your life and, and, and have a connection when I first got to Celine seven years ago with your family and, and having been able to coach your son and coach your daughter and coach with your husband and then teach with you here, you know, has just been an unbelievable experience for me and, and learning as, a, as an educator and as a person and, and continuing to grow has, has been special. So, you know, I, I don't think there's there's anybody more deserving, you know, that I could think of that uh, that deserves this award more than you do. And, and I, I only hope that, you know, that someday, you know, I can repay a little bit of, of what you've given me in, in life and in education. So congratulations. Um, I wish you all the best. And, you know, I thank every day, and I know everybody here does, that, that we got to know Mrs. S for as long as we did. So, so thank you. And, and hope the best. Got a little tear in your <laughs> eye. Tell me a about that. Unexpected. Um, he's a he's a great colleague of mine that I've, I've helped work with. He's uh, coached, my, like you said, my son, my daughter, so I've gotten to know him well. Um, we've shared a lot of students together, been able to do a, a lot of good work together. So um, I greatly appreciate that from him. One of the things that I read about you is that you're not only a teacher, but you volunteer and you do so much extra, extra. Well, I mean, I think that's things that we all do. I mean, we we want to do things to help out with the kids, the extras after school, um, the extras in the evening. It's kind of part of what goes with the job and part of being part of your community. And I know that most of the teachers I work with, we consider ourselves, you know, a lot of us, we, I live in the community. My kids have gone to the schools. Um, so it, it matters. It kind of rounds things out to be able to be part of the extracurriculars as well as, you know, do a little extra teaching, do a little extra bit of work with some clubs and things like that. It's, it, they began, actually, the letter by apologizing because <laughs> they thought that they couldn't fit it all into the form about how <laughs> wonderful you are as a teacher. Tell me about that. Why, why do you teach? Um, I love teaching because I think it's one of the few things that you can do and, and make a difference. Obviously, I had some amazing teachers growing up, and, and I try to emulate a lot of the things they do. I think, I think the teachers I remember the most are the ones that I felt I had the best connection to. And so I try with my students to f kind of find a way to have a relationship and a connection with them that is, doesn't have anything to do with the schoolwork. Um, I think that when you have that as a teacher, you can then get the kids to kind of trust and buy in and maybe they're willing to work a little bit harder for you. But ultimately, especially at the middle school, which can be really tough years for some kids as they're trying to figure out socially and emotionally and, and everything else, um, with some kids, that part of their growth takes more precedence than the academic part. And so by getting to know them and, and, and being part of their lives in the classroom and outside of the classroom, I think it's a good thing. Kristen, that would be hard. You're a mom, too. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I think I think my kids have been very gracious with their time, and they know what I do is important. Um, growing up, my mom was a social worker, and she gave extra time, and that was part of what she did. And she just retired recently. Um, my dad owned a business, but he was always trying to give and help back. So I think that's kind of how we were raised and what we do. And and um, my kids have seen their their father coach and and do other things. And so that's just part of what you do is you're able to give back. Um, some of what you have and try to help people with your time. 
So. Well, you're making a huge impact in the lives of young people. So thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. So you'll just.